Good morning, everyone, from the New Haven Free Public Library. Uh, I'm Haley from the Mitchell branch, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool mixed media collage of a person with really crazy hair. The first thing you're going to need before you start is a photograph of a person with normal hair. This can just be any, any photograph of a person. Um, you can find a picture in an old magazine or you can find one on the internet and print it out. Um, this is my picture um, of my, my lady with normal hair. Um, I like that she looks very surprised. Um, I think that will make my painting um, um, a little more fun. Um, but see what you can find. And uh, once you've got your picture, it's time to get to work. First, we are going to cut out our person uh, very, very carefully uh, so that she doesn't lose an arm or anything. Uh, but once we get to her head, we're going to, again, very carefully cut off her hair. Uh, she doesn't need hair because, remember, we're going to give her new, much crazier hair. Once she's all cut out, we can glue her onto a piece of watercolor paper. All right, here's the fun part. It's time to start drawing the crazy hair. I'm using permanent markers uh, so that I can paint over it later and it won't smear. Make sure that the hair fills up the whole page. Um, also, maybe there's a funny little dragon in this lady's hair. Uh, no wonder she looks so surprised. I'm also going to add a spooky purple ghost person in there. Um, maybe the purple ghost can have its own set of crazy hair. Uh, that's kind of fun. Uh, let's see, what else can we add? Maybe a little boat. Um, Maybe we can have some trees. I'm going to use an oil pastel for the leaves on the trees um, so they'll have a little more texture than if I was using a marker. Um, we can also add some water for our little boat to be floating in. Um, you can keep, keep on adding stuff to the crazy hair until the whole paper is filled. Um, you can add polka dots, more stripes, whatever you can think of. Um, make it as crazy as possible. Uh, next, we can paint over our crazy drawing with watercolors. Um, the pastel and the permanent marker will show through the paint. So, uh, you know, you can paint right over it. Um, you can paint in as many colors as you like until the whole paper is colorful and filled in. You can let the colors um, bleed together a little bit, but try to keep them mostly separate so they stay bright and distinctive. Um, if too many colors get mixed together, it's just going to turn like muddy brown or gray, um, which isn't as much fun. Once the paint is dry, we can uh, jazz it up just a little by adding sparkles. Everything is better with a few sparkles. And last but not least, let's give our crazy hair lady some big surprised googly eyes. Oh no! What crazy hair I have. And here is our crazy hair painting. Oh boy! What do you think? Did I make it crazy enough? Hmm. It's pretty crazy, but I think you guys can probably come up with something even crazier uh, if you uh, if you really try for it. Um, that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.